what is going on youtube thank you for joining me dual links ban list is here let's take a look a lot of excitement biggest ban list in dual links history now is the time my ever faithful companion dark magician could it be it's the biggest i've seen limit one gazelle and roar so seems konami is short is choosing us I'm so, oh gosh, is forcing us to choose between Gazelle or Roar. Uh, I believe everyone's going to choose the Gazelle. The Roar, it's no way to search it now. Inconsistent. You're going to use Gazelle to open up other pathways, sending to the graveyard. Other Salaman Great cards. Maybe, maybe the Roar could eventually be replaced by the Salaman Great Rage later in the future whenever Konami decides to release the Rage. Are Salads dead? No, not yet. It's going to be a turn two board breaker. Security Dragon will be very important to breaking your opponent's board. Moving on, Enemy Controller limited to one. Konami says that this card is too often able to immediately decide duels in the current metagame. So we are moving it to limited one. If you're in a mirror match, a salad mirror match, and your opponent has a link to Sunlight Wolf, you tribute your own Sunlight Wolf for take theirs. And then you link out of that Sunlight Wolf into yours? It's like nothing even happened. And the, the your opponent just completely lost out. Head Judging, also limited to one. Not too powerful, not, not really used in the meta, but it could be... Could be powerful in the future in the right conditions. So it seems that they're preemptively uh, limiting it. Interesting. Moving on, Treacherous Trap Hole. This card is powerful in a vast number of decks and will be moved to the Limit 1 list alongside Enemy Controller. Now, you won't be able to use Enemy Controller and Treacherous Trap Hole in the same deck. Nice, I like it. Two very powerful cards, so now you won't be able to use them together. Limiting 1, Dark Lord. Ixchel. I don't I don't think I said that properly, but it will be going from limit two to limit one It's it doesn't sound like it, but this is a buff now. It can be used with other limit two Dark Lord cards Improving your Dark Lord decks for those for you players out there World Legacy Whispers When it's activated you can target one level five or higher monster on the field It gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn and it and you will be able to negate any Opponent's spell effect that activates in the same column as a mech knight monster you control Something to watch out for if you're going against mech knights. So if they have the The continuous trap on the field the whispers do not activate a spell into the column that a mech knight is in but a mech knight player will be able to move their mech knight to another spot and to another column It makes playing going against them very challenging limit to lady debug we are limiting this card as it allows players to consistently play a combination of cards that give their opponent little chance to fight back the lady debug highly increases the consistency of a lot of decks i can see why it's limited limit two it's not too outrageous you could still see it in a 20 card deck limit threes we have salaman great circle Okay. Not in the end of the world. You can still use three of them. Now, this would stop Salaman Greats from using cards such as Compulsory or maybe a Crackdown. I, I believe they are both Limit 3. Limit 3s. Moving on. Legendary Six Samurai Anishi and Shien's Dojo. So we have Salaman Greats getting a nice buff. I don't think it's going to be too crazy it's not going to be meta breaking no longer on the list we have cosmic cyclone it's been power crept we have we have a mystical space typhoon now a cosmic cyclone has a heavy cost 1000 life points i think it's fine that it's unlimited probably deserving invocation it will be unlimited to allow for greater flexibility when building an invoked deck so maybe we'll see some invoked decks rise up also, the Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves will now be unlimited, buffing Phantom Knight decks. Very interesting. Phantom Knights did have a place on the tier list, not for long. Maybe they can rise back up. 
going along with the invocation, we have invoked. I don't know. I never know how to say this one. Magalancia will be unlimited. Nice buff to invoke. Ga 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 head will be unlimited to allow for the greater flexibility when building an Onomat deck. It's been a while since we've seen Onomats in the meta. Who well, knows? Maybe you can have some fun with them now. And we have Shiranui Squire and Spirit Master. Both of them no longer limited, unlimited. Shiranui might be coming back. Trapanui's here, boys. Necroz of Valkyrius. Okay. Nothing much to see here. And Gen X Controller. I, I, I've been thinking about this. I don't know what they're doing with this. Level 3 Tuner. It's a, mach it's a dark machine. It says that they're going to use it in water decks. I have no idea how. Very interesting ban list. Heavy bans. Heavy limits, I should say. Large, large list. I think this is the biggest forbidden limited update we've ever seen in Duel Links. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Peace out.